everyone. You know me. I'm Bluey, your faithful companion in all your building adventures. Today I want to offer you something special, which I am sure will interest each of you. I propose to participate in an exciting competition to build a wooden house. Yes, yes, you heard me. It will be a real challenge to our building skills and creativity. We can join forces and create something truly amazing together. Imagine, we will choose materials together, plan the design, and of course, turn our ideas into reality. And what could be more exciting than watching a real house emerge from a pile of wood? It's also a great way to spend time together, bond, and create something we'll remember for years to come. We can share the joy of success and the fun of the building process. The day has come when we start building our wooden house. It is a moment we have been preparing for for so long and one that I am sure we will remember for a long time. Building a house is not just a physical process. It is creativity. It is an opportunity to create something strong, reliable, and beautiful. And today, we are going to start from the very foundation, building the walls. Building walls is a symbol of our unity and strength. Each of us will put our efforts to make sure that every bar, every plank is in its place, that our house stands strong and unshakable. When I see our hands working together, when I hear the sound of the hammer and the creak of the boards, I feel that we are capable of so much. We can create not just a house, but a real corner of warmth and comfort for our family, and let it be not just a house made of wood, but our fortress, our refuge from the hustle and bustle and stress of the world around us. Let each board become a part of our history, our memories, and our love. I'm starting to build the second floor of my house. This is an important step in creating my cozy nest, and I can't wait to get to work. Building a floor isn't just a process. It's an opportunity to put my ideas and skills into action. I'll be working with boards, measuring, sawing, assembling. Each step brings me closer to completing this stage. When I look at this bare frame of the second floor, I see not just empty space, but possibilities. Opportunities to create a cozy place to relax, to work, to have moments of family happiness. Every board I attach, every nail I hammer in, brings me fulfillment and joy. It's like creating a foundation for my dreams, creating a platform from which I will look down on the world from above, and I know that when that floor is finished, it will become not just a part of my home, but a part of myself. Every step, every effort put into its creation will remind me of my strength and perseverance. So let's get to work, my friends. Let's work together to create not just a floor, but a foundation for my dreams and desires. Today we begin to build not just a house, but our own corner of happiness and comfort. My dear ones, today is a very special day for me. I am embarking on the installation of a door and windows in our home, and it fills me with joy and pride. After all, these elements not only protect us from the outside elements, but also give our home character and coziness. When I see this door, I imagine how we will greet our guests, how we will walk them to the threshold with a smile on our face. It is not just an entrance to the house, it is a symbol of our hospitality and warmth. The installation of windows also plays an important role. They let in light and fresh air, making our home bright and comfortable. I can see how they transform our space, making it more inviting and cozy for us all. Every nail, every screw, every glass is a step towards creating our perfect home. They are moments that will be remembered for a long time because they are where our dreams and hopes for the future are realized. When I think about what our home will be like with these doors and windows, I feel that we are creating not just a dwelling, but a real corner of happiness and comfort. It's a place where we will rejoice together, cry together, and of course, love each other with all our souls. So let's continue our work, my dears. Let us together create not just a house, but our own space filled with love and warmth. Today we are building not just a door and windows, but our own happiness and well-being.
I am embarking on the construction of the second floor terrace and erecting the walls of the second floor of my house. It's a challenge I've been looking forward to and I can't wait to get to work. Building a terrace is an opportunity to create a place where we can enjoy the fresh air, look at the stars at night and spend time with family and friends. I see this terrace as a place where we will share memories and laugh until morning. At the same time, building the walls of the second floor is about creating our own private corner in the world. It will be our comfort zone where we can immerse ourselves in our thoughts, dreams and ambitions. I see this floor as a symbol of our progress and growth with our family. Every nail, every board, every brick is a step towards creating our own world of harmony and happiness. I am proud to realize my dreams and create a place that will be our home. When I see the walls go up and the terrace take shape, I feel that I am doing something important that brings joy, not only to me, but to our whole family. It's not just building, it's creating our own world where we can be ourselves and feel free. So let's get to work together, my friends. Let's create not just a terrace and walls, but our own space filled with love, happiness, and harmony. Today, we are building not just a house, but our own fairy tale, where every line will be written by our hands. Today, our house becomes even cozier and brighter because I start installing windows. This is an important stage in construction because through these windows, we will see the world outside our cozy corner. Each window is not just a frame with glass. It is an opportunity to give our home a piece of nature, to let in light and fresh air. I can see how these windows will transform our space, making it brighter and more open. As I install each window, I think about the views we will see from them, the sun that will shine into our home, the winds that will blow through them. It's like creating a frame for our future memories and moments of happiness. I'm embarking on the installation of the roof on our home, and it fills me with pride and responsibility. After all, a roof is not just a protection from the weather, it is a symbol of our family protection and security. When I see that roof, I don't just see layers of material and building structures. I see a roof under which our children will grow, play, and dream. I see a roof under which we will come together to share joy and support. Installing a roof is not only a technically challenging process, but also a symbol of our family strength and togetherness. Every beam, every nail, every layer of roofing material is our promise to ensure our home is sturdy and protected from any storms that may come our way. When I see the roof taking shape, I feel like we are creating not just a dwelling, but our own fortress where our family will always be safe and comfortable. It is a place where we will be protected from all of life's hardships and storms. I am embarking on the installation of the roof on the second floor of our house. It's a challenge I take on with an open heart and a determined mind. After all, for me, installing a roof is not just a construction job. It's about creating our cozy hideaway where we will feel protected and free. Every beam, every sling, Every layer of roofing material is a step towards creating our own sky wing where we will soar higher, look farther, and dream bigger. Installing the roof on the second floor is about creating our own corner of the world where we will fulfill our dreams and plans. Every nail I hammer in reminds me how important it is to be strong and independent. It is not just a roof, it is our own creation, a symbol of our strength and our ability to overcome any difficulties. Hi, Mom! Welcome to our cozy corner, our home with two floors and a stunning terrace. I'm so excited to show you the gorgeous views we have and how we created this beautiful corner where we can enjoy moments together. This home is our own little miracle, our space to fulfill dreams and create memories. I am so grateful for the opportunity to share it with you, my family. Hi, guys. Today, I'm Bluey planning to break into my mom's house to build my secret base there. This base is my place of solitude, my refuge from the noise of the world, my place of creativity. Here, I will be able to breathe new life into my ideas, gather strength before new feats, reveal my talents and release my courage. 
May my secret base become a place where my dreams become reality, where I can be myself and build my own story in this confusing but fascinating world. I have to wait until she goes out of her house for business, so as not to arouse suspicion. And then I will definitely enter the house and find a suitable place to build a secret base. Finally, my mom is out of her house. Now I'm going to look for a suitable place to hide and build my secret base. Like a ninja in the darkness, I silently enter the house. Every step, every click of the lock is a test of my courage. I can feel the excitement filling my soul, for there may be unexpected obstacles on the way to establishing a secret base. Finally, I find the perfect place for my base, a secret hiding place in the most secluded corner, right behind my bed pillow, so my mom won't suspect a thing. I begin construction like a master architect, combining talent and ingenuity. Every block, every detail is part of my plan to create a safe haven where I can hide and create. My hands deftly manipulate the blocks, creating walls that conceal the inner world of my secret base. When I finally dare to open my eyes, I will see my sanctuary, a tiny corner of the great house where I can hide, dream, and plan my future exploits. I hope she doesn't come back soon, even though I have an invisibility potion that I can use to hide from her eyes. But I'll need to patch the holes in the walls so she won't realize. I'll do it with sticky pistons, and I'll also make a button on the outside so that under the influence of the invisibility potion, I can get into my secret room. For that, I'll need a switch and a few handfuls of redstone, along with a redstone torch. Evening excitement overwhelms me as I, Bluey, make my way into my mom's secret home to create my hideaway. There is silence all around, with only my breath accompanying me as I begin to set up this new nook for exploration and creativity. At the back of the room, I encounter an empty space where silence used to reign. My heart beats harder as I sense the possibilities and potential of these walls, ceilings, and corners. But first, there is a need to clear, to tidy, to create my own little world in this big house. As I take on the task, I begin to put each item in its proper place. Step by step, day by day, I shape this room into the image of my dreams and desires. Because I am the one who controls the boundaries of this room, in which I clear the walls of stones, enlarging the territory of my secret room. This room is my sanctuary, my retreat, my cozy corner in this vast world. Here I can find peace and joy. I can hide from the vanity of the world and join my innermost thoughts and feelings. Let every object, every detail, every thought in this room be my guide to new adventures and discoveries to bold ideas and wisdom, to my own inner journey. As I approach the completion of setting up my secret room, I, Bluey, feel the warmth and coziness filling these walls and corners. Every piece is in its place. Every detail reflects my ideas and dreams. Every glance stolen into the void fills me with satisfaction and excitement for new discoveries. With this very clever technology I've made, I can hide in here forever, and my mom will only realize I'm here if she wants to tear down this wall and enlarge her room. Hopefully, that will never happen. I had just finished organizing my secret room, every detail in its place, every corner filled with my breath. But suddenly, the sound of footsteps, my mom's voice, I feel her coming. A spontaneous decision is made instantly, a potion of invisibility. Discreetly pulling it out of my pocket and locking my lips with his before realizing that I'm leaving behind a vague outline. Full of inner tension, I drink the potion. I feel it slowly envelop me, plunging me into a world of invisibility where the shadows of my existence flutter in the air. The new state fills me with adrenaline. I become inscrutable to the eye, free from the shackles of visibility. Silence. The sound of footsteps means she's in the house. I make my way out of the room and begin to follow my mom, taking in the world of invisibility like an unknown art form. Her voice, the sounds of domestic life permeate the air, but I am an unnoticed observer, hidden in the twilight shroud of invisibility. Following my mom, 
I become aware of her daily activities. She is here, in her comfort zone, watching. My heart beats harder, worrying that it may soon be exposed. But the feeling of freedom, of being able to sneak invisibly into the world, seems so mesmerizing that I am imbued with a new sense of mystery and fulfillment. When I noticed my mom starting to build a place for the beds, new thoughts popped into my head. After all, not only is this the next stage in the life of her home, it's an opportunity to learn more about her, about her hobbies. This moment gives me not only a new understanding of my mom, but also a new sense of responsibility. The beds are not just soil and plants, they are part of her life. I am very proud of my mom and glad that she is always looking for ways to develop her home. But I also have to admit that I am lucky that she did not dig in the direction of my secret room. She is finally finishing installing the beds, replacing the last block of stone with a block of earth. I wonder what she will do next. But suddenly, I was struck by a new transformation. Mom began to build a fountain behind glass, like a window into a world of magic and water fantasies. Her hands, which had the wisdom of a gardener, now mastered the art of creating a water symphony, where the jets of water create a music of lively shimmers and excitement. The glass of the fountain created the illusion of a parallel world where the water flowed freely, gliding lightly across the surface and creating a play of light and reflections. Mom continued to work with enthusiasm, transforming the glass object into a place of meditation and peace where each splash of the fountain was like a song of the river, filling the space with living energy and invigorating coolness. Now back in my secret hiding place, I need to continue organizing it. At first, it will be enough for me to install a stove, a bed, a chest, and a workbench. Hope you enjoyed watching the construction. Hello, friends. Today we are gathered together as a family to play a game called Minecraft and found ourselves on a lonely island where there is no one but us and the animals. So we will try to survive on it by ourselves to the maximum using all the resources that are here and which we can use. Yay, sis. I'm glad that we managed to get together as a family in this game. I already know who will do what. But first of all, we need to make a house for which we will need trees. My husband and I are also glad that we managed to get together in the game. It's an extra reason to spend time together. And since you play this game more than we do, we will be glad if you will guide us and tell us what we need to do. Yeah, I'm excited too. But when I watched you guys play, I memorized what to do in the beginning stages. And since we have to build a house, I suggest that Bingo chop down some trees for us. As my father said, I will go to get wood. And most likely the first thing I will do is to build a workbench so that I can make more complex elements. It's amazing that we ended up on this island and there are many animals that we can raise and not starve to death. In general, the wood is extracted quite quickly, even if you take into account the fact that I do not have an ax and very lucky that there are several varieties of trees. Given this fact, I will be able to choose from which boards we will build a house. I would like it to be green and there is a suitable tree here bench which I will make with boards that I will make from the wood that I obtained. I plan to put it in the centre of the island and give the resources to my brother. In the future, my family can change its location so that they can all be more convenient to use it. Yay, I'm happy with the work I did. I think I did a good job. How nice that my sister was able to get and make so many boards. She is a great girl. Now I will start to build a house. For this, I will need to outline the dimensions of the house with the help of blocks that just made my sister. Unfortunately, some of the animals that are present on this island prevent me from building the foundation of our future home. I will definitely deal with them. And maybe in the future, I can tame them together with my family so that we always have food. Building a house here is not just the act of building a structure. It is the process of realizing a dream. In the end, I will not just build a house, I will create our corner of the world, a place that will reflect our family strength and creativity. My business is to make the foundation. 
After which I will rest for a while while my father continues to build the house. He will need to make the walls and leave cutouts for windows and doors. All right, so while my father is doing something useful, I'll make my own cutouts for the doors so that when he builds the walls, he can guide me in the construction of the house. Now my son has handed over the resources to build the house to me, I will also be sure to leave room for the windows. I am very excited to fulfill such a demanding task. Once on this deserted island, we as a family faced a challenge that set the path to incredible discoveries and wonders. Once we were here, I felt mixed feelings, fear of the unknown, responsibility for our family's safety, and fascination with the possibilities that this world offers. We have become an inseparable team where each of us contributes to our survival and prosperity. We create not just a home, but our space, our sanctuary, our community. Here, we learn mutual aid, tolerance, and that family is a powerful union that can overcome any obstacle. And while the hardships of our time on the island could destroy us, they only strengthen us, making us more united and determined. We are not just surviving here. We are growing, developing, and improving as a family, not just in the game, but in life. I believe that this experience of our time on the island will make us stronger, closer, and ready for whatever challenges we face. We are not just a family. We are a team that is united by hardships and gives each other hope and love. Finally, I came back rested. During the rest, I thought of what I will do. I will plant a tree, which when it grows will give us more growth and wood. And also I will make a furnace from the cobblestones that I got in the pit. We will need the furnace to make glass for windows in it with sand and wood. Done, the oven is set. Now I'm off to dig out the sand while enjoying this beautiful view of the sea in parallel. Hey guys, look what I did. I found a bunch of sand that will come in handy for our construction. I think this window will make our cabin much cozier and brighter. Yes, I know we have primitive things here, but every little thing adds color to this world. After all, it is important not only to survive, but also to create something beautiful and functional. This island is so amazing. I'm even starting to feel like a real builder and designer. Once I crawl inside after work, I will be proud of our home and that we were able to utilize every resource from this island. Also, while the glass is being made, I will get meat from a couple of cows for our family. No big deal, because there will still be animals that we can use for livestock here. Great, I got us some meat and it looks like the glass is almost done. Just a little more and we'll have a beautiful window that will not only add style, but also improve ventilation in our secluded cabin. I will also make steps for our house and access to the sea, so that in the future we can fish without anyone tripping over them. I think my family will be happy and proud of me after the work I have done in building the steps. I will use the same wood to make it look very beautiful. I am glad my sister sourced the green wood. It makes this house very unusual and beautiful. Give me a minute. I'm going to start building a window right here. These panes of glass I made out of sand will add light to our hut and allow us to observe the surrounding natural beauty. Done. Look at this window. So simple, yet so beautiful. I'm sure our cabin is so much better because of my hard work. We will make this island a truly cozy and amazing place for us all. While I was arranging all these windows, I had a great idea to build doors as well as I have a lot of wood left in stock. After I make the doors, monsters will not be able to bother us and get into our house at night. So, the first door of our cabin is ready. It's so sturdy and cozy, I'm sure it will be a pleasure to use. We now have an entrance that not only protects us, but also adds to the coziness and atmosphere. Please walk through our new door and see how well it fits in with the overall design of our cabin. I am so glad to see that my son is very good at this game. I will for now take care of leveling the floor, making room for the floorboards that my husband wants to make. In my mind, I already imagine how beautiful our house will look like. Guys, today I will take over the construction of the floor in our house after my wife has done her job of digging a place under the floor perfectly. 
This is a very important improvement that will make our home more comfortable and cozy. The construction of the floor is another step towards making this island our home. First, you need to carefully arrange the wooden planks so that the floor is smooth and durable. I made sure that the boards are well prepared and ready to be laid. Every detail is important to create a beautiful and functional floor. Look, the floor is almost ready. How nice it becomes to lay down on the floor and see how our house is transformed before our eyes. This cozy floor will add warmth and comfort to our space. Now that the floor is ready, we will feel even more confident and comfortable here. This small improvement will increase our enjoyment of life on this island. I am proud that I could contribute to the creation of our home here. Hey guys, how about taking part in an amazing competition to build a huge Coke can in Minecraft? I think it will be unforgettable. Taking part in the competition requires good preparation. Wow, that sounds interesting. I'm sure we can create something truly amazing. Let's start planning our future masterpiece construction. That's a great idea. Let's do our best to make our jar a true work of art. I can already imagine the wonderful decorations we'll add. I am ready to take on the responsibility of building the jar. I have some techniques that will help us create something unique and original. Let's put all our creativity into this project. You know, when I start building something new in Minecraft, it's like I'm plunged into my own world of creativity. Building this glass bottle is not just a task, it's an opportunity to express my creativity and see my ideas turn into reality. I start with the foundation. The base is the foundation of the entire construction. In the case of the glass bottle, this is exactly the moment when the shape, structure, and size of the future construction is determined. I carefully lay the blocks of glass, trying to create a harmonious combination of transparency and strength. And now, slowly but surely, the outline of the glass bottle is born before my eyes. Each block of glass is like a puzzle piece that needs to fit into the overall picture. I love that sense of balance and order when each element is in its place and the structure begins to take on its own unique shape. As I sit here in my Minecraft world and start building something my brother created, it's like inspiration has come over me. The mood, the creative energy, it's all the wind that fills my sails and allows me to sail on to new and uncharted waters. The base that my brother built for his glass bottle is like an architectural blueprint that outlines the contours of the future structure. It's like a map that I can follow, guided by his designs and ideas. And so it is that I begin to add my touches, my aesthetics, so that the construction gains wraps and shapes, tradition and innovation. Building in Minecraft isn't just a fun pastime. It's part of my creative process, where I can add something of my own to the ideas of another. It's like a woven weave where every thread is important. Every addition gives uniqueness to the building as a whole. When I build, I see in front of me not just blocks and textures, but a small petal of an idea that unfolds and becomes an amazing flower of creativity. Respecting the foundation laid by my brother, I try to complement it with my own vision, breathing new life into it, new images and motifs. And when my glass blocks combine with my brother's foundation, I see the final sketch of the glass bottle begin to come to life, begin to breathe its imaginary air. It's like magic when two creations come together to create something amazing and unique. When my husband and I sit down at the computer to start a new project in Minecraft, I can feel our creativity begin to stir and ignite in our hearts. Creating the foundation for our build is like the beginning of a great journey, where each step brings us closer to a common goal, making our dreams a reality. My husband and I always work as a team, complementing each other and encouraging inspiration. Building in the shape of a Coke can is not just a random idea. It is a symbol of our unity and family spirit. We try to create not just a building, but a work of art that will be memorable for us and the other players. As we begin laying blocks, creating the foundation for the future jar, I can feel our unity permeating every element, every pattern and texture. Together, we strive for harmony and perfection.
considering every detail and bringing a piece of our attention and care to it. Building in Minecraft is like a collective creation where each block is a brick in the wall of our imaginary world. When I start building walls for our family project in Minecraft, I feel a whole world of possibilities and creativity unfolding before me. Creating the foundation for our future building has become more than just a task. It has become an exciting journey of creativity and imagination for me. Our Coke Can Project is not just a play structure, but for my wife and I, it is a symbol of our understanding, cooperation, and unity. As I begin to build the walls, I realize that each block, each recreated space, is infused with our shared energy, passion for creativity, and desire to create something special. Building walls is like creating a structure for our shared ideas and fantasies. I strive with every mouse movement to give the walls strength, durability, and beauty so that our project is not just beautiful, but functional, embodying our shared vision and goals. Each block, each layer of walls are like bricks in the foundation of our creation. As I lay these blocks, I see our building take shape and structure as it begins to come to life and become whole and complete. I cherish every moment of this process because to me it's not just a playful task, it's a creative expression of our unity as a family. I immerse myself in a world of creativity and fantasy, as if magic were taking hold of me. Creating the base for the bottle has become part of my own worldview, an expression of my imagination and the power of creation. As I lay down the blocks of glass, I see the contours of the bottle gradually take shape. As the whole structure begins to breathe a life of its own, it's like a miracle when your ideas start to become reality right on the screen, when every block, every mouse movement contributes to the splendor of creation. Every block, every alignment of glass is like bricks in the wall of my imaginary castle that I build with such passion and passion. I try to give the base for the bottle, not only strength and structure, but also beauty and harmony, so that it is not just a building, but a work of art. As the base becomes more and more complete, I start to think about the details that will make our bottle truly outstanding. And so I decide to add a label to the center of the bottle so that it is not just a glass structure, but has its own unique style and recognizability. Creating the label is one of the finishing touches to a masterpiece, a small detail that gives the construction its individuality and uniqueness. I start laying down the blocks with the same attention to detail, with the same commitment to perfection, so that the bottle becomes not just an object, but a piece that will be remembered for years to come. So with every block, with every mouse movement, I'm getting closer to completing our glass bottle that will not just be a building in Minecraft, but a symbol of our imagination, creativity, and coming together. We're not just creating a game building, we're creating a place where every detail speaks to our inspiration and passion for creativity. When I see the label my brother created for our glass bottle in Minecraft, I feel like I have an opportunity to contribute to make it even more exquisite and unique. It's more than just improving a detail, it's our joint opportunity to create something truly magnificent. As I begin to refine the label, I realize that every detail matters. Every change brings a new element of beauty and uniqueness to our creation. My goal is to keep my brother's original idea and give it an extra touch by adding elements of sophistication and elegance. I proceed with care, striving to maintain the character and style of the label my brother created. I add patterns, decorations, and color accents to create a new layer of beauty and depth. Each block, each addition contributes to the overall look of the label, making it more colorful and appealing. When I see the final result, I feel that my brother and I were able to create something truly amazing. My work didn't just complement his idea, it gave it new inspiration and energy. I feel like our work together brought a spark and beauty to our project, making it even more wonderful and unique. So when I finalize the label, I feel proud and happy that I was able to contribute to our shared creativity. My brother and I didn't just create a building in Minecraft, we created a piece of art that will remind us of our inspiration, collaboration, and love of creativity. 
As I resume building our glass bottle in Minecraft, I can feel how every block, every mouse movement brings me closer to completing this amazing project. Our family creative work becomes more amazing and inspiring with each new step. Following the creative process started with my sister, I decide to improve the bottle by adding a new element to its design. Starting by creating the neck and narrowing down the construction, I aim to create not just an object in Minecraft, but a piece of art that will reflect our imagination and creativity. When building the neck, I try to pay special attention to detail, perfecting its shape and structure so that it blends seamlessly into the overall look of our bottle. Each block I place brings a new element of zest, a new moment of beauty that gives the construction sophistication and elegance. As I narrow the construction above the label, I pay attention to proportion and harmony so that each element fits together to create a complete and aesthetically pleasing whole. My mouse movements become more determined to bring our future glass bottle to perfection. As I finish the neck and taper the construction, I feel our Minecraft project take on a new dimension, a new air, a new inspiration. My thoughts are filled with ideas and desire to make our bottle extraordinary and magnificent so that it becomes not just an object, but a true work of art that will delight us for many days to come. So as I complete this stage of the build, I feel filled with joy and fulfillment, knowing that our glass bottle is becoming more and more unique and inspiring. Our family creation continues to grow and evolve, and I am happy to be a part of this exciting process. When I get down to finishing the neck of our glass bottle in Minecraft, I can feel my inner creative fire flaring brighter. It's a moment when I can contribute to the overall creativity and make our build even more attractive and exquisite. As I refine the neck, I try to give it a more harmonious shape, considering each block of glass as if I were molding them into my own masterpiece. Each movement of the mouse, each refinement of details, brings us closer to creating a truly wonderful object that will adorn our Minecraft world. When the neck takes on a finished look, I dive into creating the bottle cap. This is a new challenge for my creativity, where every element, every shape, contributes to the overall beauty of the construction. I strive for the cap to be not just a detail, but an embellishment that will emphasize the uniqueness of our bottle. Gradually, block by block, I build the lid, inspired by ideas that come to mind during the creative process. My goal is not just to create a functional piece, but to put a piece of my soul into it so that the cap becomes an integral part of the overall artwork. When the bottle cap is finally completed, I feel mixed feelings of joy and satisfaction. This creative process was not just a game for me. It was a true test of my imagination and skills. I'm glad I was able to contribute to this project and help create something beautiful and amazing. So every block, every mouse movement, every detail of our glass bottle in Minecraft reminds me that together we are capable of great feats of creativity and imagination. It's not just a building, it's our shared creative creation that is filled with our inspiration and love of creating. When I go back to work on our Minecraft project, I see in front of me not just walls and blocks, but an opportunity to collaborate with my mom to create something amazing. Building walls for our tin can, shaped building is not just a job. It's an opportunity to share ideas, creativity, and inspiration. Being inspired by our shared creative process, I strive to create walls that will not just be the foundation for our tin can, but also its decoration. Every block, every alignment, every mouse movement brings beauty and functionality to our construction and makes it vibrant and inviting. Working with my mom, we discuss details of wall design, ideas for decoration, color combinations. It's not just building in Minecraft, it's a joint creation where everyone contributes their own input and energy to create a common masterpiece. We strive for harmony and beauty, for our construction to be not just a game object, but a work of art. 
As I build the walls of our jar, I begin to realize how important our work together is. Every block, every corner of the wall is a piece of our creativity, our love of beauty, and desire to create something unique. Together, we form not just a building, but a place where our dreams and fantasies are realized. As we continue to create our tin can in Minecraft, I am beginning to see it not just as an object, but as a symbol of our understanding, our harmony and unity. We're not just creating a play structure, we're creating a world that reflects our shared energy and creativity. So as I work with my mom to build the walls for our tin can, I realize how important it is to be able to create together, pouring a piece of our soul and passion for creativity into our building. It's not just the building process. It's an experience that strengthens our family bond and makes our work in Minecraft truly special and meaningful. As my hands go back into creativity to finish building the roof for our jar in Minecraft, I feel every block, every mouse movement become part of the overall creative process. Building the roof isn't just about adding the top to our building. It's the final touch that will give it completeness and finality. Building off of the walls my husband previously created, I begin creating the roof in an effort to maintain the style and aesthetics of the structure. Each block each corner of the roof is an extension of the creative impulse that came from him. Thoughts of a shared project, of creating together, fill my heart with joy and inspiration. As I lay the blocks of glass to create the shape of the roof, I feel it begin to come alive, taking on its own uniqueness and character. My decisions about the shape, proportions, and details of the roof reflect not only my vision, but also our shared desire for beauty and harmony. My goal is not just to complete the building, but to create a roof that harmoniously complements the walls and adds completeness to our tin can. I consider every detail, every design element, so that the roof becomes not just a roof, but an important part of the image of the whole building. Gradually, my roof takes on its own personality and beauty, reflecting my inspiration and creative energy. Every block, every effort brings our family building not only style and elegance, but also a part of our strength and love of creativity. Love. Building an entrance wall is not just about creating an opening. It is an opportunity to add elements of decor and style that will give our bottle a unique and personal touch. I try to pay special attention to every detail so that the entrance becomes not only functional, but also inviting, welcoming anyone who wants to look inside our creative world. Having built the entrance wall, I move on to the back of the bottle, the bottom of the bottle. This is the point where I can create the foundation that will support the entire structure of our building. I try to give the rear part not only strength, but also grace, so that every element of our bottle is thoughtful and beautiful. Gradually, block by block, I create the bottom of the bottle, considering every angle and every layer to ensure the right shape and structure. My goal is not just to finish this stage, but to make it part of the overall harmony and beauty of our bottle. I strive to create a complete and finished design that is pleasing to the eye and soul. When I finish the entry wall and bottom, I feel satisfaction and pride in being able to contribute to our family project. As my wife and I begin to install beds and chests in our Minecraft build, I feel each block, each piece of furniture become part of our comfort and coziness. Creating a cozy corner in our virtual home becomes an important step for us to create together and strengthen our family bonds. Installing the chests is another step in creating our unique space. We do it together, sharing ideas and solutions to make each chest comfortable and functional. When I get down to adding names to a bottle label in Minecraft, I feel like a real designer bringing my own ideas to life in virtual reality. Creating a label is not just a task, it is an opportunity to add personality and uniqueness to our construction, to make it memorable and original. When thinking up and putting names on the label, I strive for each word to reflect the essence of our bottle, to embody its character and atmosphere. Each letter, each name becomes part of the history of our construction, adding a touch of mystery and interest to our creation. Check out our new build in Minecraft, kids. We decided to recreate a tin can of cola 
adding the logo on the sides, the building itself we made of blocks of wool, as well as made two entrances from the bottom and the can opener. As well as it can be lived in it, inside we have placed beds and chests in which you can store things. Well, I don't think it's the most original idea. We could have come up with something more creative, but still, I love our building, and I can't wait to see what your Coke bottle looks like. Good, then let's hurry over to our building. Me and Bluey will be very happy to show you around. Wow, our kids built a model of a glass cola bottle. Look what a creative idea they have. It is a masterpiece, made almost entirely of glass. I feel that it was very difficult to keep the right proportions. Congratulations to you favorite kids. You managed to beat us. You got a very worthy bottle. You deserve a round of applause. Oh, yo, 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 dad. What happened to my mom and my sister, Bingo? Why did they have such big bellies like they are pregnant? What should we do now? It's very unusual to see this. I'm very worried because I don't understand where they came from and what it all means. It does look interesting. Maybe they ate too many pies? Or maybe it's part of some secret plan of theirs to take over the universe with inflated bellies. Maybe they should announce their new abilities and become the heroes of this world. It feels like they swallowed the whole watermelon. <laughs> well, who knows what they have in mind? Maybe they've done some mysterious ritualistic act and now they've gotten supernatural powers with those inflated bellies. Maybe it's just yoga balls and they've come up with some more advanced exercise and it's their new fitness idea to keep themselves in shape. Who knows? Anyway, I plan to make a house for them to keep them in order. Please get some wood and make a workbench so I can set it up. I already see a good place for it. As an adventurer in this wonderful world, I realize the importance of resources, caring for our safety and comfort in our gourd shelter. I head towards a forest full of tall trees and green foliage. Each blow on the trunk fills me with a sense of satisfaction at the work I have done, the resources I have gained that will help us improve our abode. Wood is not only a building material, but also a symbol of our ability to create, build, and protect our interests in this virtual world. And it will also help my father to build a house from scratch and furnish it as we need to protect my sister and my mom. I'm very worried about them because I can't understand why they have such big bellies. I start thinking about my mom and sister's big bellies. Their inflated bellies seem like a mystery. However, they always have their own logic and explanation. Perhaps it's some new yoga or fitness technique that helps them maintain their health and fitness. My mom and sister are always open to new ideas and experiments, and I'm sure those inflated bellies are hiding something amazing and useful. Here I am, the father of this amazing family in Minecraft, facing the mystery of my daughter's and my wife's inflated bellies. These enlarged bellies are like a riddle, like a signal of something bigger that we can't yet unravel. Maybe it's part of their new plan or a sign of some change in their health or well-being. It's always interesting to watch our loved ones take on new challenges and put their ideas into action. In addition to this mysterious mystery, I also decide to take on building a house. With the wood my son has collected, I begin to turn my ideas and concepts into reality. Each block, each reinforcement of the house becomes not just a structural element, but a reflection of our family values, our warmth of home, and our willingness to support and care for each other. As I build the house, my thoughts still revolve around the mystery of inflated bellies. Perhaps it's a new diet, exercise, or just a play on words hinting at something unusual that lurks in the minds of our ladies. We have always been supportive and understanding to each other, so I'm sure it won't be long before we find out what's behind this mysterious stimulus. With each block of wood laid, with each brick delivered, I feel our home becoming not just a structure, but a shelter for our hearts, a source of peace and joy for the whole family. Building a house for me is like a symbol of building a solid foundation for our happiness, our well-being, and our common future in this exciting virtual world. I have finally found a deep mine full of valuable resources that we will need to furnish our home and improve our lifestyle here. With every successful pickaxe strike, every ingot found, I can feel our base growing stronger, our capabilities increasing, and our future becoming brighter and more secure. 
As I extract ores and resources from this mine, my thoughts revolve around the mysterious inflated bellies of my mother and sister. These unusual transformations of theirs make me curious and concerned. Could it be some new strategy for survival, magic, or just an unusual fitness experiment? But I'm sure they have their own reasons and plans that will soon become clear. As I gather unique materials from the mine, I realize that every ore, every crystal, and every ingot is not just materials, but the keys to our development, to our creative and building ideas. This process of resource extraction is not just an act of labor, but a manifestation of our ability to adapt, to create, and to take on the challenges this virtual world presents to us. Thus, I continue my quest deep into the mine, gaining resources and wisdom from each treasure trove I find. These resources will become the foundation for our new projects, for improving our home, and for our overall prosperity in Minecraft. With each block of stone, each ingot of iron, I can feel us all getting closer to our goals, our dreams, and the new discoveries that will help us go further in this world. These inflated bellies are part of a mysterious puzzle for me, a symbol that hints at something unusual behind these unexpected changes. Maybe it's a new approach to self-care, fitness, or even a magical transformation. I wonder what might be behind it, and I'm ready to solve the mystery by supporting my loved ones in their strange explorations and experiments. In this fascinating world of Minecraft, where anything is possible, these inflated bellies become a symbol of mystery, creativity, and wonder. And I can't help but wonder if they are leading us to new discoveries and adventures beyond our ordinary understanding. Take a look, dear ones, at this amazing ocean house in Minecraft. What an amazing place to live, overlooking the vast sea and the sounds of the waves that take us far away. This is an amazing place, my dear family. In this house, we can enjoy beautiful sunsets, swimming in the ocean, and the comfort of home. It is our corner of tranquility and harmony in this virtual world. We can collect seashells, watch dolphins playing, and spend time outdoors enjoying the beautiful view and breeze of the sea, as well as fishing. I am glad that our home brings us happiness and inspiration. Here we can create beautiful memories, spend time together, enjoy moments of joy and peace. This house will become not just a place for us to live, but also a symbol of our unity and love for each other. We are happy that we can share this beautiful moment together. Our house by the sea has become a place for us to be ourselves, where we can be energized. Hey folks, heard about the exciting trap building competition in the game of Minecraft? We have to build original and crafty traps inside the catnap character and all players participate. It should be fun and creative. What if we create a team trap where we combine all the ideas together into one huge trap for catnap? Yes, it will be our creative masterpiece. We can really show our imagination and skills in this competition. Here in the world of blocks and dreams, I, Bluey, decide to create something unique and exciting for my loved ones. Today, Mom and Sister are going to try their hand at my new parkour track. And Dad, Daddy is going to give them a little surprise. Here's the perfect set of blocks for our parkour, from jumping over chasms to climbing tall towers. Mom and Sister, get ready for an exciting challenge and a thrilling adventure. I think it's going to be very difficult for them to pass this test and get to my dad's trap. In this magical world of blocks and secrets, I, the father of this amazing quartet, decide to create a little trick for my loved ones. The chest that hides the secret behind it has been prepared by me with love and skill. Here is the perfect place for my trap. In the world of Minecraft, where every block brings new opportunities and adventures, I, Bingo, decide to create a challenge that will test the skills and dexterity of those who brave the challenges. Parkour with ladders is my choice for a new challenge. Here is the perfect location for our challenge. Ladders, tall and winding, will be the stepping stones of our adventure, challenging us to rush forward and overcome challenges bravely 
and without fear. Let every step on the ladders be a challenge. Let every slip be a new discovery. Parkour will be a place for our development and growth, for our bold dive into the uncharted depths of the Minecraft world. In this world of blocks and possibilities, I, the mother of this incredible clan, choose to create something special. The Hidden Button Trap is my choice to create fun and wonder for our family. The spikes on the path to the chest are my way of backing up and protecting us from unwanted surprises. Here is the perfect place for our spikes. They will be the guardians of our path, warning everyone of the possible danger and challenge ahead. In this wonderful world of blocks and adventure, I, the father of this wonderful family, decided to create something special. A room with many buttons, each responsible for opening a door leading to the second floor. My new creative assignment. Let each button excite our minds and arouse our determination. The room will become not only a passageway, but a test of our wits and attention to detail. May the path to the top of our house be painstakingly lined with buttons and mechanisms. Let the brilliant blocks of diamond remind us of our unity and the value of every step along the way. The room will become a symbol of our attention to detail and our commitment to achieving lofty goals. I decided to create something magnificent. A wall of diamond ore blocks is my choice to decorate and protect our unique corner in Minecraft. Here comes my new creative venture, a wall of shiny diamond blocks. Each block represents not only beauty, but also unwavering strength and resilience. It won't just be a wall, but a symbol of our family's strength and prosperity in this world. May each block reflect our family value and our mental strength. May this wall be our symbol of splendor and steadfastness. Well, here we are, ready to try out all the traps we've set for each other in our Minecraft hidey holes. We're sure they'll be a challenge even for us, adventurers. Yes, dear. Thinking out these traps, I've already forgotten some things myself, but I'm sure they will be not only exciting, but also full of surprises. Ready for a new challenge. Well, I must admit that creating all these mechanisms and security systems has been fascinating. But now, it's time to put our creativity to the test. Yay! I'm so glad we're all here together. I can't wait to start this exciting challenge and show that our team are true masters of traps and construction. Let's not waste any time, but let's get right down to testing our creative labors. I'm sure our traps will be a real challenge even for experienced Minecraft explorers. Today, I passed my first test from my mom and sister. They told me that I needed to climb a ladder to prove my strength and agility. I was a little nervous, but knowing that it always comes easy with Daddy, I decided to give it a try. Soon I reached the top of the stairs and turned around to look at them. They were cheering and smiling. I could see the pride in their eyes. This was my first test. Ah, this damn parkour. I never thought my brother Bluey could be so cruel. He knows I'm not as athletic as he is, but he still makes me test my weak nerves. I've tried jumping over these concrete blocks, but every time something goes wrong, I either get stuck halfway or lose my balance and fall to the ground. And every time he laughs at me, telling me I can never be a real parkourist. But I won't give up. I will train and work hard to prove to him that I too can overcome any obstacle. I don't want my brother to think I'm weak. And the next time he puts a new parkour challenge in front of me, I will be ready. I'll prove to him that I have the strength and stamina to accomplish my goal, and he'll see that I'm not as weak as he thinks I am. Oh no, what's happening? Why did the floor suddenly disappear? I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling! Hey, somebody help me. I don't want to fall down into this dark void. Here I am, Bluey. Here I am standing in front of this door, behind which hides my coveted prize, a whole chest of diamonds. But to get there, I need to press the right button from the huge number of buttons that are placed in front of me. I look at them, they all seem the same, but I know that only one of them will open this door and allow me to continue my journey. I focus, I think, I analyze each button in front of me. And so, I make my choice, I press the button. The door opens in front of me, and I make my way into the next room. 
There I see a row of torches with a chest of diamonds in front of them. I quickly choose the right torch and run to the chest. My heartbeat quickens, adrenaline flooding my veins. I open the chest and see it, the grand prize of the competition, a whole chest of diamonds. My eyes sparkle with joy. My soul is filled with satisfaction. I have achieved my goal. I have won. This moment will be forever engraved in my memory as one of the most exciting and thrilling of my life. I rejoice in my victory, but at the same time, I know that my story is just beginning. New challenges, new adventures are waiting for me, and I am ready to accept them with an open heart and a... Here I am, reaching the ultimate goal, the chest that holds the grand prize of this competition. My heart beats faster, and my whole being is filled with excitement and anticipation. I feel that the moment of truth has arrived. I'm going to have to go down on jelly beans to get to the chest. Yes, it sounds crazy, but after all, I'm not just that kind of bingo sister. I'm a true professional at this. Finally, I make it to the chest. Inside, I find the coveted prize that was worth all the effort and obstacles overcome. Happiness overwhelms me, and I realize that this moment is worth all the effort.